Have you ever witnessed a class of ninth graders design, revise, and lead coding boot camps for 1,500 middle school students in one school year? Here is a group in Boston, Massachusetts who are using math and coding as an organizing tool to significantly change who participates in STEM learning. A lot of students of color don't go into STEM because they either don't know what STEM is or they just think that it's too hard or they can't do it when in reality anyone can do it, you just have to learn. This is a new experience for me. I did not know anything about coding, so I'm quite interested in this course. We wanted to ensure that students are walking away from Excel High School with the necessary skills that they needed to be successful in both college or career. We wanted to be creative in what we were asking our students to do, and we wanted it again to be authentic. So we're not just going to pay lip service to the development of a leader at school or the development of advocacy in our students, but we really wanted to have an opportunity for them to do so. So this project is really about introducing students to literacies of the 21st century, doing it in a way that is relevant to them, bringing in college students and younger instructors who can relate to them, and having them go out into their communities and teaching a small part of what they learn. When the students come in, they go to each station and um, our literacy workers teach them about strings, variables, things like that, and they give them a presentation on like what it is and how it can be used in Python. And then they have three levels of tasks and they have to use the information that they got from our literacy worker to code and make programs. I mostly like the bootcamp because I learned from some from the students how they feel and how the teachers feel when they're going to teach something to the students. Our YPP class meets daily for about an hour and the beauty in this work is that we use the near peer model so that there are students from college coming in to teach our high schoolers and to really provide the day-to-day -day instruction and support. Working here actually did shape my opinion on being in the computer science field. Because before when I would tell everyone I wanted to study computer science, they would always ask me like, oh, well, what do you want to do with that? And I never really knew the answer. But a couple months ago, I was thinking like, why don't I just learn as much as I can, get my knowledge and give back to the community. It's very simple. College students teaching computer science in high school classrooms to better computer science learning and computational thinking. You know, like when you help a person out, it's like you go home, it's like, oh, well, I did something great today, I helped someone out. I taught someone today, they learned something, my knowledge is going to be passed on to the younger generations. This class and the format of it, it's very non-traditional and innovative in how we look at educating high school students. So being willing to take that jump and accept trying something different and not being focused on the standards and the scope and sequence. It is a risk, but when you take it, it's pretty incredible how you can still get to that same end point by doing it a little differently. When we think about creating and developing leaders. This is truly what we want if we want to change the issues that we face in society. The ability to develop student voice is so critical. It is our young people who are going to be our future. And to hear it from their voice, from their point of view, their perspective, their reach, all of that is critical, I think, in thinking about a better tomorrow.